friends and all you Scrappy Tails fans. It is hop day for Scrappy Tails. There's gonna be tons of videos, tons of inspiration, and we are using some really awesome Halloween slash fall uh, products today. I've got the Spooky Cemetery Gate die set here. Now, there are some small pieces on this die set, and I just wanted to show on this little lantern here that if I take my Tombow Mono Multi, I dot it up and then I allow it to dry first, I can just stick pieces together. And these mortar pieces that Sabrina designed for these uh, gate pillars have already been pre-dotted and pre-dyed pre-dried <laughs> after um, I cut them out. And you can see how easily they just pop on here and that prevents all that squishing and, and glue all over the place. Now this banner pops out of the top part of the gate and uh, she also has lanterns, there's candles I didn't add, and these wicked awesome skulls. If you have teenage boys who are into like rock and roll stuff or uh, you know, somebody who happens to like skulls you can just imagine these done up as a background on a birthday card and they have the jaw that moves up and down love them so this banner i cut i'm cutting back so that it doesn't cover what's going to be behind my gate and uh, i'm just flipping the piece here back to back so that i can match it up and i put a few dots on it so that it's going to glue itself into place at the top of that now the haunted castle die awesome happy halloween and a couple bats as well as this kick butt castle i cut three pieces one from medium gray one from dark gray and then one from white and i used a technique that i'm not showing here because i don't want to hog all the hop time um, that i had all of those little pieces caught into this white piece so that I could color up the doors, give the windows a golden glow and a green glow so that it looks a little creepy. And then I'm also going to uh, go ahead and um, kind of give them some dirtiness as well. So I've just got a dark green um, distress ink here. I don't know what color it is, but I'm using my favorite little brushes from Amazon. The, if you don't have these, they're not expensive. You got to get these. They are like amazing. I will link them below. I'm going to link everything below, especially the Scrappy Tails supplies. And uh, thank you so much for using my links. I love, love, love everybody who's supporting my channel that way. It uh, really helps enormously. So I'm going to layer over top and uh, you can see here, I am just throwing the glue down. Don't be afraid. I'm using, um, this is a bit, um, not barely art glue. This is art glitter glue, but if you're using barely art glue, just slap it on. If a little bit squeezes out, this is gonna be a really rustic -y looking card. It's not gonna hurt anything on this type of card. And I can understand when you're using um, metals like you know silver or gold you want to be careful of that but this type of thing no worries i took the extra die cut here and i'm popping off all those turret roofs <laughs> for this castle because i wanted nice dark roofs for the creepiness of this little this little uh, haunted castle and i'm just layering really layering them over top of this and then i'm also going to be grabbing some of the uh, linear pieces here that help add the details and i'm throwing them into place and yes you can see some glue squeezing out not going to be a problem nothing to worry about especially in this type of card so uh, now that I've gotten that done, we want a little bit of brick work. And if you take the chisel end of your, whether you use Copics or Spectrum Noirs, take your chisel and use them as though they were like their own individual little stamp. Leave a little bit of space and stagger them so that they look like bricks. You can see this is a really cool technique for giving a brick look to the front of a building. Now, when it's wet, it looks darker. As it dries, it gets a little bit uh, more subtle looking so you want to pick a color that's going to dry more subtle test it and let it dry so here's my little secret check this out this does not have to be a haunted castle and the next video will not be at all halloween so this is a multi-purpose dye you're gonna love it it's a great thing to add to your set and how cool is that hello and happy you can add a birthday to it Woo woo, isn't that great? My other tip here, backgrounds. If you're gonna do dark, spooky backgrounds, night skies, why don't we start with a piece of gray cardstock to begin with? Why are we always starting with white? 
I am lazy. I don't want to do all that work. So I'm just daubing on some purple and some green here. And, uh, you know, the castle's pretty sumptuous. It's going to take up a good amount of space on my 5 by 7 card. So I'm not too worried about the brush marks. Normally, we'd be all about the blending. But, you know, sometimes we're adding enough blending. It doesn't really matter. So my big tip, though, go over your colors twice. Make sure you get two layers of ink over top. That'll help with your... Um, the, sh the show of colors and then here is our of course famous black sweat <laughs> so that is going to fix of course million dollar phone call hello how dare you interrupt me <laughs> the nerve interrupting me and offering me no money <sighs> back to my video so uh, black soot here. We're just going to make sure we ink up the edges and we're going to add a few blobs in. We definitely need to up the creep factor here and I'm grabbing my gelatos and I've got metallic icing and coconut, just coconut. So uh, metallic white and a white and we're starting with the metallic white so that we get that kind of shimmery, spooky background going on. And uh, mine have been in the box for a while so it took a little bit of rubbing to get some off. Once I switched out to the white though, you can see the white's gonna show up a little bit more aggressively and give it more kind of cloudy look. And uh, almost like a dirty chalkboard, right? <laughs> so finger smudge those babies in, check out your um, castle, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of um, white onto the edge of the castle too so that it looks like it's glowing. And I wanted to make some sort of uh, driveway, some sort of dark gravel driveway. And I'm just using my white gel pen and then a silver gel pen, and I'm using my finger to smudge the silver so it looks a little like gravel. And gravel, that's a Canadian thing for anti-nausea. <laughs> got a white pencil here and I'm stroking in some uh, kind of grass. And then I was also trying to um, make a moon behind here. And coloring over top of this mess has been very difficult. And this is actually a pastel pencil I lied earlier. I'm struggling to make it work. It's not really doing what it needs to. And then I got myself out a white marker. Yeah, don't do this. I colored the tip of my white marker, so I'll see if I can clean it off. But here's the winner winner chicken dinner. Uh, Dollar Tree down in the States, they have these available two for a dollar and it is a chalk marker. It's just some greasy kind of pen and it's a little bit thicker I think than a gelato or a distress crayon and you can see it made a pretty good moon. <laughs> so we're going to glue up a lot of this so that it sticks to this mess and uh, put some pressure on it and then we'll also glue on uh, our driveway here. Now you saw as well that I put a line on the middle of the page when we started this so that I didn't have to ink all over the place. Here's the gate and we're going to put some foam tape on it and tip, learn from my mistakes. Had I put a little bit of removable tape on the front, I could have easily had this not <laughs> be as difficult to handle. I'm hiding some foam tape behind those skulls there to hold those up and then I cut some really tiny skinny pieces for the points of uh, the gate here and uh, we're just gonna get it down into place. Now, this is a hop, so don't forget to go along and see all my friends on my Scrappy Tails team. They're gonna have some freaking amazing videos. You are going to whoa, scream your hair out. <laughs> and there's also some really, really nice um, Harvest Blessings ones too, but I've seen the projects and uh, if you could get a flip through before a hop, I would love to see what everybody's going to do before I have to hop through the thing. I'm going to tell you, this will be totally worth your while. There's some amazing stuff. Now, Halloween card, we need ghosts. We got friendly mini ghosts and spooky ghosts. They're amazing. Now, I'm going to put in some bats and... Uh, I'm going to just kind of shoot these ghosts in. I don't know if you saw the uh, video that Sabrina did where she's got one of the little ghosts there that has his arms forward pushing a tractor. <laughs> these ghosts are just, they're the best. She's got so many different styles of them. Adding in my bats here, and uh, I'll see you in a few days with my next video using this castle, and hopefully you enjoyed what I put together. I was trying to stick in the Halloween here with some spooky green metallic paper from Tonic Studios. There you go. I didn't know if it was too much to put it on that way, but I ended up 
trying and trying and trying and I found myself in my stash a little teeny tiny scripty happy that I cut out so that I could have a little tiny happy Halloween and stick that just like that all together. So anyways, thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit that drop down box, like, subscribe, leave me a comment because there's prizes, friends. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Have an awesome day. Hope you get some time to get crafty. Thanks so much. Bye.